Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install PostgreSQL latest version that is 16.1 on Fedora Linux 39 version. The process is same for all Fedora versions. Click on this applications, open Firefox and open terminal also. Open terminal, now go to PostgreSQL official website that is postgresql.org and hit enter. Maximize this one. See the latest PostgreSQL version is 16 and its subversion or mining version is 16.1. So we are going to install this 16.1 on Fedora Linux servers. So click on download, then select this Linux, then select Red Hat, Rocky, or Alma Linux. See here now select the version. See we have the version from 12 to 16. So the latest is 16. Then select the platform. Select the Fedora version. See Fedora versions supported are 37, 38 for the process equals 16. Okay, select it. We have only one architecture that is x86 64. Then it has provided the list of the commands to install process equals 16 on Fedora Linux 39. Okay, copy the lines one after the other and execute it but you should have the sudo privilege or root privilege okay go to the terminal copy this one this that is rpm package which is going to add the postgresql repository okay paste it and hit enter provide the password of sudo use Is done okay see it has installed this repo okay so, so next step is we have to install the post sql so give the command clear the screen now sudo dnf m install postgresql hyphen 16 yes postgresql 16 hyphen server and hit enter. See, every time we have to give Y, otherwise, Control C simply give hyphen Y. If we give this one, again I am clearing the screen. If we give hyphen Y, then no need to give the confirmation again and again. So, then give the hyphen. See, we have successfully installed PostgreSQL 16.1, okay. So, the next step, we have to initialize the database. Just copy this one. I will keep this link in the video description, okay. Control L to clear the screen again. Maximize screen bit. Paste here. Hit enter. It is success. Now we have to enable PostgreSQL service and we have to start the PostgreSQL service. Before that, we have to verify it. Okay. So sudo systemctl status PostgreSQL hyphen 16. See, service is not started and it is disabled. So Q to quit. Then as for the document, first we are going to enable the PostgreSQL service on Fedora Linux. The use of enabling this is whenever a Fedora Linux machine restarts, this PostgreSQL service automatically starts. You don't want to start this service 
automatically after Fedora Linux machine restarts, then no need to enable. Okay. In the future, if you want to disable, you just give the disable command. Okay. So system CTL enable. Then service name. Service name is PostgreSQL hyphen 16. Tab you will get the dart service. See, okay. Hit enter. It has created symlink. Again verify. See, it is enabled. Again, if you want to disable this service, just here, just run this command and give disable here. Okay. See here, it is still not started. Okay. So start the PostgreSQL service. Sudo system CTL start PostgreSQL hit tab. Okay. See, it is started. Again, verify it by using a para from your keyboard. Then you get the, this command. Hit end. See, it is active or running and loaded. It started 8 seconds. See, these are the list of the processes running for this PostgreSQL server. And this is the data directory location. I will show you what are the files and folders are there in this location. If you took it, control L to clear screen. Now try to connect to the PostgreSQL 16.1 and verify whether this is the PostgreSQL 16.1 or not. Sudo su hyphen postgres let now run psql this is not the postgresql server version this is the psql utility version now verify postgresql server version by running command select version parenthesis put semicolon at the end and hit end see we have installed postgresql 16.1 on this machine okay the next and the first step that we have to perform once we connected to postgresql server is we have to set the password of postgres user let first verify list of the users by using forward slash du the commands which starts with forward slash commands are called as meta commands in postgresql server okay forward slash du see we have only one user that is so per user one user which is having all privileges in PostgreSQL server. So set the password by using alter user. Then you, here username is Postgres with password. Then give the password. Hit enter. See alter role which means it is success. We have successfully set the password. Control L. Here also we can use Control L. Okay. Now we will see how to create user database and we will see how to find the configuration files location in PostgreSQL server. Okay. So, as I have shown earlier, we have one user. Let me create another user. Create user James with password admin. We can give anything. Verify. We have two users. If you want to get full information about this, James user just give slash du plus then James like this we can get the description role name and attributes okay we can also create users by exiting this PSQL cell then we can run the create role okay I will show you that in some other videos okay now we are going to see how to create database first verify list of the databases by using slash here. see we have three databases postgres template 0 and template 1 these are the three default databases comes with the installation of PostgreSQL server. Okay. Control L to clear screen. Now let's create a database by using the shell create database and provide the name of the database. Here I'm giving database name as Arctos. This is simple syntax. Otherwise, if you have to give one name, we have to give the one details. Okay. For this demo purpose, just I'm using this one. So the one will be the currently logged in user that is postgres okay hit enter now slash l c new database has been created and its one is postgres let also we can change the owner name by using alter database and owner to this one okay that is not a big deal okay next we will see how to find the configuration files location so config 
underscore file put semicolon at the end. See, this is the configuration file. This is the configuration file that is process equal dot compile, which is there in, in this data directory. The other imported file name, so hpa underscore file. See, I will show, I will tell you the differences. This file contains process equal server settings or configuration information. But this file contains authentication, like what are the users allowed to connect to the database and from which IPs users are allowed to connect to the Postgres SQL server. Like that, we have the authentication information in this file. Last step, we will see the files and folders available in this directory. Slash Q to quit. CD. We have to remove the file. LS. See, these are all the important files and folders for the Postgres SQL server. This is the Postmaster ID, which means the current, which is there whenever Postgres SQL Server is there. This is the PID of the, or the PID of Postgres SQL Service. In this page directory, it contains actual data. This is the log directory. Okay, we have different options. If you want to verify the version, just run cat, copy this and paste here. See, the current version is 16. It is showing only major version dot, but not minor version, minor version. But we have installed 16 dot okay that's all about installation and configuration about postgres sql server 16 dot one and fedora linux 39 machine the process as i told you the process is same for fedora 37 38 or 39 for more postgres sql server videos please subscribe my channel thank you